Hello and welcome. I hope all of you are doing awesome. And today I'm going to take up a topic which has been asked in different ways by many people. And that is, what are the 10 main things an interviewer is looking in you during an interview? So let's start. The first thing an interviewer is always looking for in you is, uh, do you actually answer the question? And you will see a lot of times, and I have observed it, I have taken a lot of interviews. When I ask a question, sometimes the candidate starts answering and then takes the direction to something else, to some other area. And this is something you should not do. You should stick to the question. You should understand the question very carefully. Now, it is all okay. If you do not understand the question, you can ask to repeat, or you can ask to rephrase, or you can also ask to give some more details. All that is fine. This will not be taken as negative, but understand the question and then answer it properly. Uh, remain within the limits of whatever is asked. So this is very important. The other thing is the interviewer checks, are you honest with your resume? And this is very, very important. You have to create your resume very carefully and make sure uh, you know what you are mentioning in your resume and then read your resume a lot of times, multiple times before going to the interview. Make sure that you, you put all the right things in your resume in case a situation comes where you are asked something from your resume and you do not know that that can create a very negative impression. And most of the times, or I should say every time, most of the questions will be coming directly from what you have mentioned in your resume. So create your resume very carefully and know whatever you have mentioned there. The third thing is an interviewer always checks, do you have the necessary skills? So uh, you are, you will be always tested and checked on the skills that is required for that particular job or for that particular role. So for this, you have to read the JD or the job description of that job very, very carefully multiple times and make sure that you highlight uh, the tools and your experiences in your resume that maps to that requirement and make sure that you discuss about that whenever asked. Then an interviewer always checks, do you give up easily? Now in an interview, you will be asked some uh, logical questions or some hands-on questions, maybe some programming exercises, some coding exercises. Now, a lot of times an interviewer here is not looking for the right answer or the best answer, but always checks whether you are somebody who tries and does not gives up easily. So make sure if you are presented with any such question, you do give a try. You just do not, uh, you know, uh, raise your hands and say, oh, I cannot do it. So take care of that. Uh, also an interviewer checks whether you are keen to learn and whether you can learn and perform. And I can tell you with my experience and observation, a lot of times candidates who are not very good in the technical part still gets selected because they present themselves as good learners, go-getters, and person who can learn and perform. Because a lot of times, uh, everybody does not know everything that is required for the job, but if you can present yourself as somebody who can learn on their own and then perform and get things done, there are high chances that you can get selected for the interview. The next thing is, an interviewer checks, will you fit in their culture, in the company's culture, and here, uh, uh, team, uh, team player, helping others, right attitude, behavior, all this will be checked. So you should always present a right attitude. The next one is a connected topic. That is how adaptable or flexible you are, whether you, you will be good fit in the team, uh, whenever something uh, different comes up, will you be able to adapt and will you be flexible? So this will always be checked. Another very important thing will be, are you a self-starter? So if you are going for most of the experienced uh, interviews or uh, people with, with uh, having some experience, you will always be checked whether you are a self-starter or whether you are somebody who needs to be pushed or who knew, uh, whether there is somebody who needs to invest time in you. So always present yourself as a self-starter. You can give some examples from your experience or some scenarios and always present uh, yourself as somebody who can get things done on their own. The next thing is, Will you create a positive environment? And again, your uh, team player, helpful nature, attitude, behavior will all be checked here. So you can always be helpful and you know show that you are helpful. You are a team player and you will get things done. And the next very, very important thing is, 
whenever an interviewer is interviewing you most of the times in technical interview interviews and in the technical rounds the person who is interviewing you will be the person who will be directly or indirectly working with you he or she can be a a team lead a team manager and you will be coming to one of his or her teams who can, who will be directly or indirectly reporting to him or her so they will always check do i want to work with this person and here it will be checked that do you have the right knowledge do you have the right attitude are you somebody uh, who can get things done on their own if you if i give you something if i tell you that this is the job you have to do will you be somebody who can just take the instructions and then uh find the resources online offline and get things done if you can present yourself somebody like that there are very high chances that you can get selected so in all if i uh summarize you will be checked on the on your knowledge you will be checked on your attitude your behavior you will be checked on your helpful nature team player adaptable flexible and then if you are a go getter so if you can take care of these areas there are very very high chances that you can get selected so this is these are the points if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and i hope this was useful if you have any other question for me for the next episode of ask raghav you can let me know in the comment section below and i will try to take up your question in the next episode i hope this all was very useful i will see you in the next episode thank you for watching and never stop learning